we need you now. Shekinah glory, yes. Please move in this house and shake this place. Yeah, holy visitation. This holy fire, stay prayerful. Oh Lord, oh Lord, Lord, we need you now. Shekinah glory, thank you, Jesus. Please move in this house and shake this place. Holy visitation. Let's pray to Jesus right now, Father. Oh, God. There's his presence right there. There's the unction. What is the unction? It is the divine manifestation of God's grace. He has made himself, uh, he's made himself where we could discern his presence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Of course, God is omnipresent. That means he's everywhere at the same time. But there are times where his spirit, his, his presence is more discernible in the atmosphere. Thank you, Jesus. It says in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, If my people which are called by my name, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, I will heal their land, It says, now mine eyes are open and mine ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. For now have I chosen and sanctified this house that my name and my glory may be that what has sanctified me, it means to be separate. If, if I do what everybody else does, I'm going to get what everybody else gets. But Father, I pray that you would sanctify me says the Bible says sanctify ye a fast that means do something different than what you've been normally doing do something different than what society does thank you Jesus the Bible says sanctify the Lord God in your hearts separate from the things of the world so that God would take dominion that you would show God and that you would intimacy with God by reading the Bible, by communing with him in prayer, by singing psalms and, and spiritual songs with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we need you now. Thank you, Jesus. Holiness, sanctification, consecration. Thank you, Jesus. The anointing means to be separate. Sanctified means to be separate. Consecrated means to be separate. There's a theme. Hallelujah. There's a main idea. Thank you, Jesus. I'm in the world, but I'm not of the world. By the help of God. And if I'm filled with the Holy Ghost, I cannot also have any measure of any other spirit. If I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. So, Father, fill me with the Holy Spirit and take dominion of this life, this marriage, this family, that I would be a man, a husband, a father after your own heart. Thank you, Jesus. And Father, for this listener right now, I lay hands on myself as a proxy for this listener. I say, Father, in the name of Jesus, work the work of God in us. Oh, it says the Spirit itself maketh intercession. Father, make intercession for us. Pray for us, Jesus. Separate us from ourselves, separate us from the world. Not my will, but thine will be done. Not our will, but the will of God. Father, do it for this listener right now. This dear soul, a dear soul to you, a dear soul to me. It says heaven rejoices over one. I pray that you would uh, bless us with conviction to repentance by the Holy Spirit. It says there is none good but God. Hallelujah. It says he, he ever liveth to make intercession for the saints. Father, make us saints. 
The old saints used to say, you've got saints and you've got ain'ts. Well, I pray to be a saint. And I pray for this dear listener right now that they would be a saint, a chosen vessel. It says, many are called, but few are chosen. Hallelujah. Said, let the wheats and the tares grow up together. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I pray. I pray for the fire of the Holy Ghost to cleanse us and purge us. Deliver me from the social media. Deliver me from the religions. Deliver me from the politics of this world. I pray to be heavenly minded. I pray that souls will be one more soul, one more soul, one more soul. Make me a man, a pastor, an evangelist, a prophet. After your own heart, why? For the glory of God, not for vanity, not for money. Not to say, oh, look at me, look how many people. No, that souls would be saved before it's everlasting too late. Heaven is real, hell is real, God is real, the devil is real, death is real, life is real. Father, I pray that you would really deliver us, set us free from the wiles of the devil, set us free from lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Father, only, only you can do it. Oh, Jesus, only you can do it. You said there is none good but God. They said, who can do this? You said, with men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. Father, for the listener right now, I pray you would do what is only God possible. Separate us from the cancer. Do what is only God possible. Separate us from the sicknesses, the diseases, the viruses. Do what is only God possible. Separate us from the I can't help it. Do what is only God possible. We're addicted to food, addicted to all kind of television. We're addicted to Facebook. We're addicted to Instagram. We're addicted to Starbucks. We're addicted. Separate us from our own addictions. Separate us from the afflictions that we would be holy, healthy. Glory be to God. Holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Well, Father, I pray that we would see the Lord. So I pray for holiness. Lord, we need you now. Shekinah glory. What does Shekinah mean? It mean it's a Hebrew word meaning God tends here. He, he sets up here. He resides here for a time. The Bible says he inhabiteth the praises of Israel, of his people. The word Israel there is just meaning, it's just dealing with the chosen people. And now because of the blood of Christ, because of the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, if we would be baptized in the name of Jesus, full submersion in the water, and if we would receive the Holy Spirit by asking him for it and praying, and then the evidence of is speaking in other languages by the gift of God, by the Spirit of God, then we are Israel then we are of the Abrahamic covenant. That means we are engrafted in to be one with Christ. The Bible says nothing can ascend unless something has first descended. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit descended from heaven like a dove. And in order for us to go up as Enoch went up, thank you, Jesus. Elijah went up, Jesus went up. And in order for us to go up into heaven, we have to be, the Bible says, except ye are born of the water, John chapter 3 and verse 5, except ye born of the water and of the Spirit, ye cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You can't go up. You could go down, but you can't go up without the Holy Spirit. And we have to be blood washed. In other words, the Lord gave, Jesus gave himself as a sacrifice for the sins of the world. And when we are baptized in the name of Jesus, we say, I am one with Jesus. And I receive that sacrifice. I receive that blessing from God that my sins are atoned. What does that mean? It means a payment, that there is remission. There is forgiveness, there is pardon. But God says, I want you to be baptized in the name of my son, Yeshua, which Yeshua is God. Hallelujah. And then our sins are separated from us. Thou shalt call his name Jesus, 
What does the name Jesus or Yeshua mean? It means he shall save his people from their sins. Deliver us from our sins. Deliver us from the can't help us. Deliver us from the addictions, the afflictions. Now there's some people, they don't need any more money, they're, but they're just addicted to the career. It's not about the money. Some people, it's about the money. They need money. Other people, it's not about the money. They're addicted. They're addicted. I'm addicted to the food. And you can... We're, some people, we're addicted to the social media. And whatever else they come up with, we're, then we're addicted to that. But only God can save us. So Father, start right here with this young man. As the music plays, as this young man prays, fire of God, fire of God on the listener right now, I lay hands on myself by proxy for them. And unless the Lord says you don't need anybody to lay hands on you, lay hands on yourself. And unless the Lord says you don't need anybody to pray for you, pray for yourself and say, God, in the name of Jesus. He said, anything he asked the Father in my name, he will give it you. Ask him right now. They, Jesus said in that day they will say lo here is Christ or lo there is Christ or God is moving in Florida or God is moving in Japan or maybe God is moving in South Korea he said don't go why the kingdom of God is within you hallelujah oh Lord oh Lord glory be to God and maybe God is moving in that place or that place. Or maybe he's not. But he said, that's not, that's not the point. He said, don't go. Why? Because, <laughs> hallelujah. He said, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. Not your mother's closet. Not your friend's closet. When thou prayest. In other words, you can pray for yourself. It's good to have somebody to pray with. The Bible says, says two or three, gather together, there am I. But then he also said, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet and shut thy door. If you pray to thy father, which is in secret, I will reward thee openly. Before you get with two or three to pray, pray by yourself and see if God wants you to go with that other person and pray. We have to have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm so glad that my mother converted. I'm so glad that my uh, my wife converted. I'm so glad that folks have converted. But they used to say, you better check yourself. You better check yourself. Make sure that you're converted. It's good that other people are converted. I'm so glad for revival in India. I'm so glad for revival in South Korea. I'm so glad for revival in Kentucky. I'm so glad for revival in Florida. But you better check yourself to make sure that you're, my God, the Bible says the righteous will scarcely make it in. You better make sure that you have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm glad they're having church down the street. I'm glad that folks are being healed, saved, and delivered. But you better make sure that you have a relationship with the Lord that can only come by prayer and fasting, That can only, and not just fasting from food. Hallelujah. You might need to fast from Facebook. You might need to fast from Instagram. We might need to fast from YouTube. I know I'm on YouTube right now, but we might need to fast from YouTube. We might need to fast from the internet. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Leonard Ravenhill said there's 24 hours in a day. He said, you're working for about eight hours. You sleep for about eight hours. What's going on with the other eight hours? There's another eight hours missing there. Why can't you pray? If you don't pray, you won't stay. Why can't you fast? If you don't fast, you won't last. Intimacy, intimacy. That's what the Lord asks. Why don't you pray? Ian Bound said, We have grossly underestimated the amount of communion with God that is necessary. Hallelujah, Masa. If you could. Hallelujah. If you pray, you will change. Something's gonna break. If I continue to pray to God sincerely, something's, I will not be able to continue to uh, do the things of the world. I will not be able to, something's gonna break. There will be a healing. There will be deliverance. If you continue to go towards God, God Jesus said to one man, you're not far from heaven. Hallelujah. He told the man, he said, right there on earth, he said, you're not far from heaven. 
If you continue to commune with God, then one day you might hear the Lord say, you're not far from heaven. Either, I'm, either there's going to be a healing or something's going to break. If you continue to pray for healing, there's going to be a healing or there's going to be something's going to break. Something's going to move. See, the old saints used to tell you, move God. See, I hear the Lord saying, move me. If you're going to pray, then pray. Then he said, love the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, with all your mind and all your strength and love your neighbor as yourself. God, do it, Jesus. Oh, I heard the woman of God say, this isn't time for little baby prayers. This is time to cry loud and spare not. And this is time to get on our face. This is time to get on our knees. And this is not time to be comfortable.